hey guys welcome to today's video in today's video i'll show you uh, how to select multiple object or, or you can call it like advanced selection tool in revit suppose uh, like uh, this is a foreground and if there are like a lot of object i can show you like if i go to the uh, the properties you can see there's almost like 70 object like if i select one by one uh, it's uh, it's showing two objects uh, yeah, it's got two columns but uh, uh, sometimes if you want to select uh, like similar category like uh, only all the columns if you want to select instead of uh, selecting like uh, one by one i hold uh, uh, control and select one by one uh, you can do it like here it's showing columns only uh, if i add also one window it's showing another uh, element but it's um comma but if you want to select only the col columns how to do it uh, you can do it by selecting one by one or i'll show you how to do it like quickly suppose if you want to select all these columns you just select one column and then go to the filter here and modify go to the filter and here it's in the swing category column or you can just select all these objects and then go to the column here you can see all these elements you just check none and then select the columns so you can see it's uh, 19 columns similarly do windows all these elements you can see if you want to oh, changes any doors staircase railing you can um, uh, check uh, what uh, elements you need uh, for now i am uh, changing the columns that's why i select the columns then hit apply and okay then let's go to the properties so here i want to uh, change it it's the top level is ground floor i'll show you um so in the uh, floor you can see that uh, 3d view it's uh, in the uh, basement like ground floor level i want to make the column higher like a uh, almost like a uh, second floor level so i want to change this one um, so let's go to the basement floor select all these elements then go to the filter then check none and select only the columns so the, it is 19 columns then hit apply okay then again go to the properties and here the base level is basement and the top level is ground floor but i want to make it like a second floor so just hit select uh, second floor if you want to change the columns you can also change the column but i don't want to change the columns i just want to uh, change the height that's why i selected here if you want to change the columns you can go to the edit type and change it um, instead of two, one feet by one feet you can make it like a two feet by two feet like this way so i just change it uh, hit second floor and uh, then go to the th yeah look all these columns i have changed is all go uh, into the uh, second floor so it's a really easy uh, way to select all these similar kind of element uh, similarly if i want to uh, go to the uh, window so that is all this window i want to select all this window so instead of selecting one by it's a small plan that's why it's easier to select one by one but when you have like bigger plan it's very difficult to click one by one element so in this case you can go to the filter and uh, you can see the windows and staircase but if i want to select all these windows you just have to select all and then go to the filter and check none if you want to select windows you can select the windows and you can see all the windows are selected yeah so this is a similar way you can select all these elements like if you want to select your windows or doors in this way you can select these elements and uh, edit it uh, quickly so i hope this video is helpful to you if you like it please do like share and subscribe my channel see you in the next video bye bye